I used to uh, take students into this particular region, and so there are rocks all over the place that contain fossils of other parts of those trees that we saw right. before. This rock right here is, uh, has got some fossils of the roots of those trees. You have the uh, root structure here uh -huh. coming off of it, rootlets. There's a second root here with rootlets coming off of that. Rootlets coughing off in that direction. Yeah. So we've got roots. We've already seen bark. Um, if you search around, you'll find all sorts of other kinds of parts of plants. Here, for example, we've got fossil leaves. They're not the same kind of plant as these. Uh, this is a, a different type of plant from that same forest. But in the process of, huh. as you can see, the, the shiny yeah. stuff is actually the the actual leaf material oh my goodness, yeah. preserved. And you got the leaves going in all sorts of different directions. So it's a different type of leaf, but you, you're getting pictures, if you wish, of not just the lycopods that made the floating mat, mm -hmm. but all sorts of other kinds of plants. Yeah. When you put all this together, all sorts of plants of different types, you begin to get a picture of the ecosystem that these things were yeah. formed in. So this is a picture of that uh, antediluvian world. Right. And, and uh, either the lushness or whatever that is, these are plants from that time. Yes, so, yes. What else do we know about that world from a plant perspective? Well, they, there'd be some plants that were, uh, I, I love these fossils, they, they look very much like fern fossils uh, uh -huh. or fern leaves. Mm -hmm. And they'd be laid out like you had put these plants into a book Mm -hmm. and it flattened them Trissel. out really, really flattened yeah. mm -hmm. And these fossils, they're not bent, they're not broken, they're not even folded over on themselves, they're just as flat as could be. How does that happen? Well, that's, that's an interesting question yeah. because like this, there's a, plant, a fern here. How do we get the fern to be perfectly flat on a surface? It doesn't grow that way even. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you do? Do you dump mud on top of it and smash it down? You're gonna get things folded, right. you're gonna th get things broken. Mm -hmm. But if you look at these fossils, they're not that way. They're all spread out, just flat as could be, and with great intricacy. Okay, so How this is a mystery. How in the world did this happen? <laughs> it's a mystery. And, and I didn't understand it for a while until actually I was in college and learned about, learned a little bit about plants and something called turgor pressure. We've all had plants in the house that have, we haven't watered in a while and we right. should have, and the little plant goes yeah. right, and th and then you put water in the thing, and it straightens back mm -hmm. up again. Mm -hmm. It gets stiff. The reason for that is because plants are built differently than animals in a variety of ways. One is around each cell, which doesn't exist in an animal, is a cell wall. It's kind of a hard cubicle that the cell is in, and if the cell pulls in a bunch of water and swells up and pushes against the side of that cubicle, it stiffens. Yeah the whole okay. plant. If the cell uh, shrinks because it's lost water, it pulls away from those cell walls, and then the cell dirts. walls get yeah. weak, uh -huh. and it turns over. That right. turgor pressure is where the water comes in and stiffens the whole plant mm -hmm. so it can straighten up. Turns out that you could, for example, take one of these leaves and break it off and toss it into water and it won't do it immediately, but in time, these leaves will flatten out. And then if it happens to get waterlogged and fall down to the bottom, it's gonna be this very oh. flat structure. Now, what happens if a dead leaf, it's already dead, falls off the tree and goes into the water? That never flattens out. Why is that? Because the cells have already died. Oh. The cells have burst and turgor so. pressure doesn't work. So that okay. water does not uh, move inside the cell. So you can't take dead leaves and create these beautiful flat leaves. That so they means have to be alive. that these leaves have got to be alive uh -huh. at the time they're ripped off of their origin. They've got to be floated for a certain amount of time for at least hours in water and then deposited in water to end up so flat as this. So yeah. we've got, we're now starting to get a picture mm -hmm. of the process necessary to get this, the leaves to this, to this state. We're destroying an ecosystem by water, biblical flood, carrying those, 
those plants over a great distance mm -hmm. and depositing them into this kind of an environment like this. Then what kind of plants do we find? 